Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up, YouTube? I'm not for everybody. You not for everybody? We not for everybody. If you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, I am Lynn Restore Love. Yes, yes. Lynn Restore Love. So, I just want to fill y'all in and catch y'all up. Hold up, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. We got to do this again. Hold up. Okay. So, I'm Lynn Restore Love. I'm not for everybody. You not for everybody. We not for everybody. Oh, just have to do that one more time. Like, again, I had to bring it back again and do that thing. Okay, so I want to kind of speak on the latest video. Because I know you guys might be like, Lynn, like, for real, come on now. Are you serious? Is this what this is about to be like? Okay, so like I said, you guys, y'all, I'm letting y'all in my world. I'm letting y'all in my life. I'm letting y'all in. I'm letting y'all in. Like, y'all in family. We family, okay? So when Lynn hurting, I'm going to let you know I'm hurting. And when Lynn going through, I'm going to let you know Lynn going through. Ain't no need of me a fake. Ain't no need of me a fake, Okay. So if you don't like it, then this channel is clearly not for you. It's not about pity. It's not about people feeling sorry for me. It's not about guilt trip or none of that. It's just honestly like it's a lot of people that battle mental issues. It's a lot of people that have a lot of mental hangups. It's a lot of people that face uh, depression as myself and different circumstances and situations that may happen or have happened in people's lives. Where sometimes, you know, um, you may have to go through something, go through that storm, or, you know. And I just want to say and show that it's nothing wrong with showing where you at. If that's where you at right now, if you hurting, sis, you hurting, king, you hurting. You know, if you're good, then you're good. But what people fail to really realize is, you cannot properly heal until you admit your hurt, until you admit your pain, until you admit that you have a broken wing or you have, you have a broken heart, broken mind, broken whatever. You know, until you confess that, like being an AA, until you confess that you're an alcoholic, then we can't help you. You can't help you. You know, can't nobody help you until you're willing to admit that, Something's going on. I have a problem. You know, this and that and this and that. Okay, so with that being said, I know, y'all, I had to get out my bonnet because my bed. I, I was looking back and I was like, Lynn, now, every time you post in a video, you got this bonnet on. So what? We the bonnet family. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Um, I'm feeling a little better today. I just, I choose to, I've made up my mind to not allow trials and tribulations, storm, rain, hurt, pain. I choose to not allow those things to hold me down. Like, I tell y'all to get up. So, trust and believe. I am telling me, sis, come on, get up. You can do better than this. Like, come on, sis. You done cried your tears. You done had your little moment. Get it together. Let's go. Come on. It's crunch time. It's time to make it happen. You know, but I just wanted to show and let it be known that if you're hurting and if you're going through something, and if that's where you're at at that moment in your life, don't be afraid to let somebody know. Because that's the thing, like, that's how people commit suicide. That's how people, you know, end up having um, depression and different things, you know, that might take place in a person's life. Because folks tend to, you know, shut people off. Because I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I am that person. Like, if I am going through and I am hurting, I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to blow you up because I feel like... If you sincerely want to be here for me, you will be here for me. 
Like, I feel like I shouldn't have to beat down your door for you to be here. So, if that's what I have to do, oh, baby, you keep waiting on that call because you're not going to get it, okay? You know, and, you know, that may be the prideful side of me, but, you know, I'm just being real. And that's what that is. So, that's why I go by Lynn Restore Love because, like, love is underrated. Some say love is overrated, but to me, love is underrated. People, when people talk about love, I love you, you know, folks are just saying stuff. Like, they speaking words, but they don't really realize the words that they're speaking, the words with the action. They don't really realize, you know, just like if you say, I hate you, and then two hours later, you might come back and be like, I ain't mean it, you know, like, words have meanings and words do hurt i don't care what you say words hurt you know i know people that have been affected from words and stuff people said when they was little kids words hurt you know and i know we all be told sticks and stones breaking bones but words don't never hurt that's a lie yes they do you know and everything so i just want to say to you my king my queen Hold up your head, put a smile on your face, live your best, best life. You hear me? Live your best, best life. And if you find yourself going through a trial, a tribulation, heartache, and pain, y'all hold on, because my kids is in here acting up. Like, they in here acting up right now, for real? Hold on, y'all. Okay, I thought so much really going on, but they just want to get out their crate. And they going to get out of it in a minute, but, uh, baby, mm-mm. Sometimes they be doing too much because they be wanting to fight and do. And I don't have time to be breaking up fights. Not dog fights, no way. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know, words hurt. And no matter how much we say words don't hurt, they do. You know, so I want to say to you, like, be cautious of the words that you speak. Be cautious of the things that you say to people because, once it's out there, it's out there. Like, no matter how much you try to take it back or apologize or whatever, it's out there. So, be mindful. Think before you speak, you know, because you never know where a person is at in their life. You know, it is so many judgmental people. It is so many criticizing people that look at you and they already done made up in their mind how they feel, what they think, and it is what it is. Um, I've honestly realize that humans are the most cruel as beings humans can be so cruel like and and i just had to really just think about that like you know what humans can be really mean because if a person fall you're gonna laugh before you ask them if they're all right you know like you might be watching movies with somebody and it's people that's happy watching murdering movies. Like, these people is getting murdered and you happy and excited about this? It is some cool people out here in the world. Like, it makes you really question, like, the people and the folks you around. Well, at least it do for me because, baby, you already watching this and this is entertaining you. What's really in the back of your head? You know, am I going to see you on the channel 7, channel 8, channel 10? You know, I, I'm i just, you know, wondering. Now, y'all, that might not be the news because I don't be watching the news. The news is so depressing to me. You know, so it's just on. If you watch the news, kudos. But to me, I find it very depressing. Everything is sad, heartbreaking, and devastating. I, I don't need the news for that. I can, you know, walk around and tell my own life <laughs> and be depressed. You hear me? So, yeah. But anyways, your girl just wanted to let y'all know, like, I'm good. All is well. It's a good day. It's an awesome day. And I am grateful. I'm not complaining. Your girl cooked some tater tot casserole and vanilla cake. Oh, and I'm ready to smash. Oh, I'm ready to chop it down and eat it up. You know, I just, I got in the kitchen and I just let everything go. Like, 
everything on my mind, everything bothering me. And I just got in the kitchen. Let me find out I'll be one of my old ladies in the kitchen cooking up a storm and have nobody to feed. <laughs> On the cool, I think I'm gonna start feeding homeless people because, like, sometimes when I get in the kitchen, like, that's like my escape place besides singing in the shower. Like, that's my escape place. Like, when I'm in there, honey, I'm in there before I know it. I done cooked a whole pan of this and a whole pan of that and a whole pan of that. And then now I'm like, Lynn, who finna eat all this? Who finna, who you finna feed, baby? So, I got to give me some new friends. I got to give me a new surrounding, a new circle, a new bubble. Like, I got to enwind my territory. <laughs> but, child, so I'm not going to keep y'all. I just want to let y'all know, like, all is well. No complaints. I am grateful. I am blessed. Today is March the 7th, 2021. And... I'm blessed. I'm grateful. And I have no complaints. I've made my peace. Like, I have no complaints. I've cried my tears. I've shown my scars. Now, y'all, it's time for that restoration. It's time for that elevation. Stay motivated, stay dedicated, and stay determined. And if you are facing a storm, facing the rain, the hurt, the pain, confide in that one that you can trust. And if you are like me and you don't really have anyone that you confide in and trust, know that you're here and you got me, okay? You can confide in me. Down below, down, down below in them comments. Down below, down below in them comments. Come in, and I might come in back. Hmm. How you like it? <laughs> Anyways, gotta love me. Gotta love me. There's not nothing like me. Oh, gotta love me. Gotta love me. There's not ain't nothing like me. Oh. Anyways, y'all. T T Y L. Oh. Crrr.